Hi, I'm glad to see you again. In this second and final video dedicated to the laser weapon systems, we will review the remaining ones available on the market. And we will have a look at the weaknesses and strengths of these possible game-changing technologies. Let's start with Elbit ELOP Maritime Laser. Elbit developed advanced Navy laser weapon systems following a merger with Electro-Optics. It can identify the range of a target at high repetition rates, which is critical for enhancing the efficiency of the naval weapon systems. ELOP's iSafe high repetition range finders can be added to existing systems in a cost-efficient manner or be added to new systems. To achieve a high repetition rate, the Naval Compact Integrated Laser uses diode-pumped solid-state laser technology. Next on the list of top Navy laser weapon systems is Northrop Grumman LWSD. The MK2 Mod 0 is also known as the Solid State Laser Technology Maturation Laser Weapon System Demonstrator. The LWSD is likely the most powerful and destructive laser to go to sea. The LWSD was developed by the Office of Naval Research and Northrop Grumman and fitted to the amphibious transport dock USS Portland. LWSD has an output of 150 kilowatts, making it up to five times more powerful than other Navy lasers. The following one is the Peresvet, also known as Russian Mobile Laser Weapon, is a high-energy laser weapon system unveiled by President Putin on March 1, 2018. The laser weapon system was already operational within the Russian army, but has not received an official designation yet. The most likely use of this weapon is to counter unmanned air vehicles, cruise missiles and other low-speed aircraft flying at low altitude. The laser beam is generated at the end of the carrier vehicle, which features a sort of steerable laser cannon. In July 2018, the new details emerge about the Peresvet purpose, which may consist on blinding electro-optical sensors, onboard surveillance, low Earth orbit satellites and unmanned aircraft. The Peresvet is being deployed on intercontinental ballistic missiles within Russian territory. In the event of an ICBM launch, the laser system might be employed to blind space-based assets from registering the launch. Besides, the system can be employed to engage the guidance system of several types of missiles that are based upon image matching to identify their targets. The last one is the US Naval Surface Warfare Center's ODIN. ODIN's development, testing and production was done by Navy, subject matter experts at Naval Surface Warfare Center. Their work on the laser weapon system positioned them to be designated as the design and production agent for ODIN. The US Navy has installed its first optical dazzling interdictor, a laser weapon designed to counter unmanned aerial system. The first ODIN laser system was installed on the Harley Burr class guided missile destroyer USS Dewey during a recent dry docking. Unlike hard kill laser systems already deployed by the US Navy on vessels, ODIN uses a dazzling laser to confuse system sensors and cameras or in manned systems potentially cause glare in a pilot's vision. To conclude this video, let's review the potential benefits or disadvantages of actual laser technologies. In addition to a low marginal cost per shot and deep magazine, potential advantages of shipboard lasers include the following. Fast engagement times, ability to counter radically maneuvering missiles, precision engagements, <coughs> graduated responses. However, potential limitation of shipboard lasers include the following. Line of sight, atmospheric absorption, scattering and turbulence, thermal blooming, saturation attacks, hardened targets and countermeasures, risk of collateral damage to aircraft, satellites and human eyesight. Well, keep in mind that Defense Web TV has more than 1,500 videos on its YouTube channel, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed of the latest defense and security news.